Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Vic and today we are going to be continuing with our Caden Live 2020 tutorial series. So today I'm going to be talking about how to do a side-by-side -side video effect and I'll show you how to do this in a couple of different variations. And today we are going to be using the latest version of Caden Live. So last week we updated from version 19 and now we are at version 20.04. So if you've got the updated version, feel free to follow along. I'm going to make sure I've got my project settings set up correctly. So I'll go to project, project settings. I'm going to do 1080p, 24 frames per second. That's what I want the final output to be. So I'll click OK on that, confirm. Cool, cool. It's going to ask me to save the changes. Yes, I will save. Now that our project settings have been changed, I'm just going to add a video clip here to my project bin. Now notice that it's going to try to ask me to switch back to 60 frames per second because I recorded this clip in 60 frames per second, but I'm going to keep it at 24. So I'll press cancel. We'll drag this into our timeline and I'm just going to move it to the very front here. So we'll remove the space. I'll right click and ungroup the clips because I'm going to get rid of the audio. We don't need the audio for this demonstration. And basically we've just got an airplane taking off. We're going to start with doing our side by side effect. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this clip. So I'm just going to select it, right click, copy and then I'll paste it onto the video track above and I'll move it to be right on top of each other. Now so that we don't get confused in case you're using the same clip, if you're using different clips it should be okay, but we're using the same clip so I'm going to turn off a uh, video track underneath off for now so that we're only seeing the top bit. So the first variation of this effect is just a simple transform. So I'm going to search for transform in my effects tab and I'm going to drag it onto the clip above here. We should see our options here for our transform effect. If you don't see that, it's because the, you don't have the clip with the effect applied selected. So if I select the clip at the bottom, for example, see the effect, there's no effects here, so we don't have it. If I click on the clip above, then we see the effects that are applied to it. Note that we are um, the size of our video is 1080p. So the width is, oh, the, the height is 1080p and the width is 1920. I want to move it in half, halfway. So what I can do is I can just drag and drop this, right, to about halfway. But if I want to be more accurate, I know that half of 1920 is 960. So I can type in 960 here directly. It'll give me exactly halfway. And I don't want any adjustments on the Y axis. So I'll leave that at zero so that it's bang on right in the middle. Now when I show the bottom clip, we've got our side by side. Let's just apply a different effect so that we can see which clip is which. So I'm just going to ch um, choose a color effect here. So just a basic one, colorize, you know, just to demonstrate. So this is our clip above and this is our clip below. So if I turn this off, you see that a clip above, we've applied the transform effect and the colorize effect. So when we play both together, we've got this nice cool side-by-side -side effect of our before and after, if you like. Now another variation of this is, what if I want the full image, but I only want half of it to have this colorized effect? So I'm going to show you that. That's our second variation. So what I'll do is, again, I'm going to copy the bottom clip, so Control c I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to copy again and paste it again above. So we've got the same situation, one above the other. I'm going to turn off the bottom clip for now 
I'm going to hide it so that we're focused on the top one here. So this other effect that we're going to do, we are going to use a crop. You don't want this one. And for some reason, the crop scale and tilt, it might be one of those legacy um, effects. So it doesn't show up, for example, if you're just trying to use the drop down menu. So it's not showing up here. So the crop that we've got is just the edge crop here. So it's better if you type it in. And this one is the one that you want, crop, scale, and tilt. We'll drag that into the clip above. And we are, you, know, you can either crop the left or crop the right. I'm just going to stick with cropping the left. Again, half of 1920 is 960 pixels. So that's cropped it in half right there. And we're going to apply the same. So, okay, just to demonstrate, right? I'll turn the bottom clip on here. And it looks like one seamless image. But the clip above is actually only half. So that's what you see. So when you composite both together, it looks like one seamless clip. So we'll leave that on so that you can see when I apply the color when I apply the colorize effect here, it's gonna only apply to one side. See? Because it's only applying it to the clip above. So that's what happens. So that's our second variation. So you do whatever effects that you want. You can try different things. If we play it here, so we've got that one seamless, you know, before and after shot. So you might find this helpful. Uh, if you experience a bit of lag because we're applying a few effects here, try to uh, do the preview scaling. So bump it down to, you know, we've had it at 720p. I'll bump it down to 360p. That should improve. No, the quality is going to suck, but that's only the preview. But the performance should improve a bit while you're doing your edits. I promise when you render this out, it's going to look good. It's going to render to 1080p, 24 frames per second in our case because I've set it up to that. Anyway, guys, thank you for listening. Hope you learned something today. The best way to support the channel is give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'll try to release as many videos as I can when I've got the free time. Thank you again. Hope you have a good day. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.